Greetings. I'm Barbara Warren, the superintendent of the Pine Bluff School District, and we are in the last stages of phase four of our strategic plan development. I'm very happy to share with you that many people have worked to help us get as far as we have with our strategic plan and the major workers, participants, and supporters of this plan have been 20 community members who have come together to be the Palm Bluff School District Community Advisory Committee. This work has been guided by the collective wisdom and contributions of this committee. This committee is made up of 20 community leaders from the school district, the community who serves organizations, government, and business. They met each month for a year to discuss community input, research and data regarding various aspects of the strategic plan. This group has advised Palm Bluff School District leadership and components of the plan, and they served as ambassadors to connect the community to the planning process. You will see pictures of our illustrious Community Advisory Committee. Special thanks to that group. And to our National Expert Facilitators, West Ed, they have supported us by facilitating and researching work throughout the planning process. We appreciate West Ed and their contribution to our work as we have together created a strategic plan. The strategic plan was built by the community, for the community, and we thank everyone who participated. So why a strategic plan and why now? A strategic plan has multiple parts and how you plan and how the plan gets made and by whom matters. You start with, where are we now? Where do we want to go? How are we going to get there? and who's going to do what? How will we know if we are going the right way? Why create a strategic plan? Well, we have created one to have the most optimal conditions for all students to succeed, to leverage community commitment to student success, to integrate community viewpoints, insights, and feedback, and to capitalize on the Pine Bluff School District Dollar Way merger. We'd also like to move closer to local control, and we've created this strategic plan to contribute to economic stability in the Pine Bluff community. Our strategic plan theory of action statement is this. If Pine Bluff School District engages the community to determine its hopes, aspirations, and concern for our school, and creates a research-based detailed plan to address the highest priority needs, then the Pine Bluff community, staff, leaders, students, and families can work together to make a small number of specific, prioritized, and sustainable changes to the way that our schools and district operate. These changes will result in better learning environments for students and staff, stronger capacity to make continued improvement over time, and higher achievement for all Palm Bluff School District scholars. Hello everyone, my name is Felicia Reed from the West Ed, the company that's been partnering with PBSD throughout the strategic planning process. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the process we've taken to get where we are today with the strategic plan. It started out with uh, all the way back in November of 2021 with setting the direction. This is when we launched the community advisory committee and defined the vision, goals, and values based on the needs of the community. Second, we went to the developing strategies phase where we determined which actions we should take to meet the goals that were set in phase one. Third, the expand commitment phase was about deciding what and who is needed for the strategy to be successful and find those partners to bring on board to really understand what um, could be contributed from the outside community. And finally, in phase four, we are working on planning for success. 
This is about defining the implementation plan for each of the strategies, including milestones and outcomes, sharing the plan widely with, this, with the community as this video is doing, and launching implementation and monitoring practices to ensure that the plan stays on track. The West Ed team has helped Pine Bluff School District to conduct a number of stakeholder engagement and research activities to inform the strategic plan. Those included a current state analysis where we interviewed staff, did a situational assessment, and reviewed data to understand what was happening in Pine Bluff and find its strengths and some of the weaknesses that were present. Second, we surveyed the community and over 500 community members responded with their hopes and priorities for the school district, what they hope to happen in the next five years. You'll hear a little bit more about that later. The labor market analysis was done by interviewing local businesses and career prep educators to understand what were the economic needs of the community and the job market that students would be graduating into. We also did an economic data analysis to understand how to set students up for success so that they could get jobs once they graduate. We also did a strategy analysis to uh, scan the national research and figure out which of the strategies that other places were using would best fit Pine Bluff's needs. We had many strategy discussions, both in person and virtual, with over 50 community leaders to understand which strategies would be most feasible in this community. And finally, we did some national research to understand the costs and resource requirements for each of the strategies on the table. There were a number of opportunities for community members to give input throughout this process. In phase one, we did a stakeholder survey where we had about 500 or more participants tell us what their needs, vision, and goals for Prime Bluff School District might be. In the second phase, we conducted those focus groups where more than 50 folks came out and had an hour long discussion to give input on possible strategies. We conducted some open forums with like we're doing now to understand and seek approaches to implementation and get advice from the community and had a number of meetings with part, potential partners to get them on board to see whether they were able to uh, commit to supporting the strategies. And finally, we have put together strategy teams or what we're calling working groups to understand uh, what's happening in each of the strategies and keep track of that progress. We'll be doing the, a launch in multiple ways to help the community understand the strategic plan as well. Throughout the process, we have had a number of respondents that shared very similar things in different ways uh, and through different opportunities for input. And the biggest ones were these three here. So when we asked respondents specifically, what have uh, you experienced in PBSD schools right now? What are you experiencing? They experienced that families can support their children's education, that that's a possibility that they wanna capitalize on. The community also expressed that staff care deeply about their students and make sure that the students are successful in whatever ways they can. The staff are able to help students learn. That was a major uh, consistent message from the community that the, the staff at PBSD is ready and able to help students learn on a daily basis. We also found some things that, that respondents and community members have not experienced in Pine Bluff School District to date. They were not experiencing that schools were consistently safe and supportive for students. And this is a major piece that came up in our goals and were reiterated in the goals that you'll see in the strategic plan. Students have what they need to learn was not something that was found consistently. So uh, whether that be materials or resources or staffing, they don't have all the things that, need, that they need to learn at a successful rate. Students 
don't always have the opportunity to participate in a variety of interesting activities. This came up a number of times, and as you can see, almost 60% uh, of respondents said, we wish there were more activities that we could have our students participate to participate in. And finally, students have challenging schoolwork. Many parents, community members, students said, this is it. Schoolwork is is fine for what it is and is challenging for some students, but not for all. So they'd like to see more challenging work um, to really stretch the mind and help students learn. You'll see a lot of these sentiments repeated as we explain more about the strategic plan and what has come up. So keep that in mind as you uh, listen to the rest of our presentation. Next, we'll have a representation of the Community Advisory Committee who will present elements of the strategic plan and major data points that shape them. Courtney Smith, the Corps Director at Dalloway High School and Robert Moorhead Middle School. I also serve um, on the Community Advisory Board since its inception. And I think the work that we've done has been very instrumental in charting a new course for our district and making sure that for the years to come, that the Pine Bluff School District uh, is full of direction and guidance on what it's going to take for us to be the achieving district of choice. One of the things that we felt was important for us to have an, a mutual understanding of in developing our strategic plan was what was our values? What were the things that not only the personnel in the district, but also the community felt were important and prioritized as key points for our district. And so we developed a system of values based off the surveys from our community. And some of those things that our community said were important was making sure that we cared deeply about our students' well-being and their success. Making sure that we preserve and strengthen the rich history of not only our district, but also our community as a whole. And then a bigger piece was uh, the uh, amount of alumni and community support and investment that we have in the Pine Bluff School District. And after having those uh, responses from our community, it led us to develop a value system or a system of values. And some of those values that the Pine Bluff School District will uphold is caring deeply about every student for all that they are now and all the ways they will succeed in college, career, and community in the future. Pine Bluff School Districts are powered by staff, families, and the community working together on behalf of all students. Pine Bluff School District offering students, families, staff, alumni, and community members a place to belong, not only now, but in the past and in the future. And our last value is knowing that Pine Bluff School District is a center of excellence for the Pine Bluff community. We felt that once we had a clear understanding of what was important to us, what were the values of not only our school district, but also our community, it then afforded us the opportunity to lay out our vision. And in laying out our vision, which was how we saw ourselves, what were some of the things that we uh, aspired to be in a certain time frame. And so again, we put out that um, to our community as well. And some of the responses that our uh, uh, constituents said that they would see the Pine Bluff School District in five years was being safe, uh, well-resourced, well-respected, uh, setting high expectations, uh, caring and supportive. And after taking all of those answers and responses, we were then able to chart our vision uh, statement for the district. And it simply states, all Palm Bluff School District schools offer a safe and supportive home for learning in which every child gets the resources and opportunities they need and the respect they deserve to explore, grow, and achieve their biggest dreams. District leaders, staff, parents, and the community proudly work together within this successful, organized, innovative, and stable institution to ensure the well-being and achievement of all students, making Pine Bluff School District the achieving district of choice among the region's families and highest quality educators. Hi, I'm Allison Thompson. I'm with the Economic Development Alliance of Jefferson County in Arkansas. 
It's been my pleasure to be part of the Community Advisory Committee for the Pine Bluff School District Strategic Planning this past year. And I'm excited to talk to you about some of the findings and some of the conclusions that we drew during this time of, of planning. So my section is on goals. First thing I want to talk about is there were some, we did kind of a current state analysis and did interviews as well as surveys and things. There were um, four main takeaways that came out of that current state analysis. Consistent expectations for all leads would increase effectiveness, trust, and morale. A culture of support and care, both for staff and students, would promote engagement in the school. Building skills and structures for managing school and district operations would allow for increased opportunities and innovation. If the community and families believe in and invest in the schools, the students will believe in it too. What do the respondents want to see change? There are six top items and there were 493 respondents that came up with these six top items. Number one, improvements to facilities, particularly school buildings. Safety in and around the schools. Improvements to the disciplinary process in the schools. Improved leadership capacity for improvement and increased accountability for leadership. Increased support for teachers and staff, whether it be resources or professional guidance or funding. And increased funding for the district. Okay, out of this and out of the, all the research, surveys, interviews, work group meetings, everything that was done, we came up with five goals. And these are the critical changes needed to in, achieve the vision. One is uh, the over is paths for student success. Strengthen and expand learning pathways for every student to succeed after graduation. Safe and supportive schools. Improve the social, emotional, and psychological conditions in all the schools to ensure that all students and staff feel safe while on school property. Improved facilities. Enhance the operational systems to support improved facilities in all the schools. Prepared educators. Increase the percentage of highly qualified teachers, educators, and staff in the district. Community confidence. Cultivate community trust in Pine Bluff School District's commitment to student success and stakeholder engagement in continuous improvement. As I said, it's been a pleasure to be a part of this process, and I look forward to being, continue to being involved and to see the successes the future brings for Pine Bluff School District. Hello, I am Bessie Lancelin, Director of Clinical Services for Southeast Arkansas Behavioral Health Care System, and I am a member of the Community Advisory Committee, so I'm elated to be here today. I'm going to be discussing input consider to decide on strategies. And the way that we got to that is that we did some community uh, research and looked at the desires of the community. And we also looked at the needs and the goals for the Pine Bluff School District. We started out at 12 month uh, place where we looked at uh, different feasibilities, ease of use of this information, but we also looked at the economic impact. At about eight months, we did some focus group insight. We did some community uh, committee meetings, and we again looked at cost analysis. And I'm happy to say that we came up with the five strategies that I'm gonna discuss at this particular time. These strategies will help us reach our goals. The first one is inform to fix it faster. That means to build a transparent system to understand and address the concerns of the community as a whole, including the students and the parents. Grow our own great staff. I know that all of us are eager for that to take place, so we are geared up to getting all staff certified for their particular role. 
But yet we also wanted to look at elevate the educators. So we want to recognize the Pine Bluff School District staff and offer some leadership opportunities. As we know, many times we just don't say thank you enough to our teachers and our staff for all of their dedicated service to help our children elevate themselves to a higher level. Then we looked at soft skills because we know that teaching skills needed for college and career throughout their curriculum is important, but we also know that there will be children who will not go to college, and those children will seek employment in different areas. They could become a mechanic, or they may want to become a barber, but they still have to have those soft skills in order to integrate into the community and to be successful in life. And last, we looked at Allies for Achievement, which is sort of what I come into because I'm working in the community as a community partner. And so we were, feel like we need to form partnerships to expand student services and opportunities, bringing the whole community together, the business community, the healthcare professionals, all of us working together with the school district will bring about success. Thank you. My name is Philip Carlock. Assistant Superintendent of the Pine Bluff School District. I'm going to share with you a brief summary of the structure of the working groups and the collective commitments of its members. The strategic plan working groups consist of community advisory committee members, community partners, and district staff. Members were selected as a cross-section of the community and representative of various organizations. Each working group is led by the Pine Bluff School District leader or a Pine Bluff School District leader. There will be one working group per strategy and a total of five working groups. The groups will work to ensure that the strategy comes to life and that they stay on target. The group will set and track progress on the strategy scope, milestones, and the outcomes. All working groups all working group members have made at least a one-year commitment. All members are champions of their selected strategy and are asked to use their influence, connections, and community to ensure its success. All members have committed to attending three introductory meetings to set milestones and targets. Additionally, members will be able to attend bi-monthly meetings to track progress move implementation plans forward, and problem solve. I will be leading the strategies that deal with Allies for Achievement, which focus on forming partnerships to expand students, services, and opportunities. There are several components that bring focus to this strategy. One, understanding the needs and desires of the students and families for services and opportunities. Two, to utilize district-wide partnership coordinators and community liaisons at each campus to create, manage, and leverage service provided by community partners. Three, to form sustainable organizational partnerships between Pine Bluff School District and outside agencies to expand access to necessary services and opportunities. Four, to implement referral and request system whereby staff can refer students or students and families can request access to services and opportunities available through partners based on their interest and need. As you have heard previously, the Pine Bluff School District's strategic plan centers around five components. And of those five components, the Grow Your Own Great Staff is one of those five components. We center this component around four strategies. Create programmatic pathways under, for undercertified staff. Establish support structures for certification to ensure participants' success. The third strategy that we are using to grow our own staff is we are creating avenues for other Pine Bluff School District staff to pursue educator certification. For example, if we have classified staff who have college hours, and are wanting to become teachers, this will allow them to pursue a program that is identified in order to help support them through gaining their teacher licensure. This includes paraprofessionals, this includes bus drivers, this includes our nursing staff or any member 
of our workforce who is classified and who's interested in pursuing a teacher certification. And lastly, creating pathways for high school students interested in becoming teachers. In doing so, we will then allow students who are wanting to become a teacher in the near future to obtain college courses while they're in school in order to allow for them to become certified teachers. Those advanced courses will allow them to go into college as those courses will count toward their teacher uh, hours for certification. These are just some of the ways that we are working with our staff in order to grow our own uniquely for the Palm Bluff School District. My strategy is teaching soft skills in school. We believe it is critical that we foster the development of personal attributes that will enable our scholars to interact effectively and harmoniously with other people in college, in a career, and in life. While there are countless examples of such soft skills such as conflict resolution, strong communication skills, and a strong work ethic, there are others that are also in high demand. They include teamwork, problem solving, communication, adaptability, critical thinking, time management, and those interpersonal skills such as empathy and active listening. All of these are skills that help to build positive relationships with others and they are equally important in both our personal lives and our professional lives. With the jobs and skills that are now in high demand and which are constantly evolving, employers look for job seekers who have the soft skills required to succeed and adapt successfully in the workplace. The importance of these soft skills for students is huge, both with regard to their studies and with regard to their future careers. They are directly correlated to improved academic achievement and students who recognize their importance and are able to develop these skills are better able to complete their student obligations more smoothly, make more acquaintances that can prove useful in the future, and are better able to present themselves as well-developed and balanced individuals. This important committee will adopt a district-wide list and a common definition for those soft skills that we deem most critical for our scholars. Our staff will model those skills as we work with each other and with our students. Teachers will incorporate the development of these skills into their daily instruction and the activities they provide to students. We will seek to build partnerships with local businesses so that students can see explore and practice these skills in real world situations. Join us as we work together to bring this strategy to life and provide our scholars with the best opportunities possible in whatever the next level of their lives may bring. Greetings, my name is Leandra Williams. I'm the building principal at Robert Moorhead here in the Pablo School District. I'm also the district leader for the strategy Elevate Educators. Elevate Educators is a twofold strategy. It impacts recognition for staff and it also offers leadership opportunities for staff. Some of those components related to this strategy are creating a system of recognition from peers, family, and even students, leveraging local community partners to increase rewards and incentives, opportunities for extra leadership roles, and creating a wish list system for instructional supplies. This strategy reminds us that the answer is often in the room. Whatever resolution or remedy we need is often found in the pants that are already servicing the students in the district. This strategy is a direct effort to strengthen the hands we have at the table right now to enhance educators that are servicing our students every day. It is our hope that this strategy will not be a one-size-fits-all approach. Elevation is not always about the next level in your career path. Elevation is also about mastering your current reality. It is also our hope that this strategy will eliminate staffing concerns, increase the capacity of our educators to the degree that it has a direct impact on student enrollment and Tier 1 instruction, if we all work together, this strategy can make staff retention and academic success a new norm with student attendance as a byproduct of our actions in the Pine Bluff School District. Hi, my name is Kimberly West. Now I'm the Family and Community Engagement Coordinator for Pine Bluff School District. 
I'm also a member of the Community Advisory Committee helping to create our district strategic plan. I am the district lead for the fifth strategy, which includes Inform to Fix It Faster. With this strategy, it focuses on building a transparent system to understand, prioritize, and to address the concerns of our community and all stakeholders involved. This strategy has several components to it, the first being to create a culture of continuous improvement within each school building as well as each school department. The second component consists of improving the way Palm Bluff School District operates, and this is also within each department as well as each school. The third component includes utilizing a reporting system where its concerns for all stakeholders can be easily filed, shepherded in the correct direction, and then tracked until it is addressed in some way. And then the fourth component of this strategy include ensuring that the district responds to these concerns in accordance with set improvements that are priorities. So there are several opportunities in which the community can contribute to help make these strategies successful. These opportunities include, but are not limited to, mentoring a new teacher, creating an internship, offering an educator discount, recognizing a student's work or a teacher's work, sharing your child's needs, donating supplies to a school or teacher or a student, or partnering with the school to help support them. You can also create a teacher perk. Uh, you can use the reporting system to report your concerns, or you can give input about decisions that we may make concerning the strategic plan. You can also help by spreading good news or even joining the Pine Bluff School District as a staff member. These are just some, but not limited opportunities for community members to contribute to the success of our strategic plan. We would like to hear from you. You can share your advice, ask questions, and register to stay involved by going to the QR code that will be made available to you on our website. Please go to pomboschools.org and look for the Strategic Plan Information Hub circle. Click there and you'll see this QR code and an opportunity again to share feedback with us we would appreciate hearing from you. As a part of the strategic planning work, we wanted to come up with a tagline that would capture the essence of what the community had expressed that they would like to see and, and what they were proud of and what we all as a group were reflecting on and that we felt captured the sentiment. And our tagline captures it perfectly. Looking back at all we have been proud of and what we are proud of today and looking forward to years to come of the greatness that we can have here in Palm Bluff School District. Our tagline that we all agree is the right one for this time is the Palm Bluff School District powered by pride and possibilities. Thank you so much for your attention and your time and your support of the Palm Bluff School District.